by Kentucky offensive tackle Darian Kennard. Uh, I'll ask Darian to make a comment about uh, the season, and then we'll take your questions. Um, Darian, just talk about heading into the 2021 season. Uh, just what are you looking for as, as you get ready to start this campaign? Uh, looking forward to Atlanta, honestly. Uh, our goal this year is to win a lot of games and get to Atlanta. Thank you, Darian. If you have a question, please raise your hand. We'll have Abby, Christian, or Catherine bring a microphone to you. Looks like we have one here in the uh, front row, about four rows back. Hey, Darian. Jordan Hill with Oplak Auburn News. I want to ask you about a local guy for us, Josh Jones. Young guy, uh, just what have you seen in his time at Kentucky and what he can do in time? Young guy, works hard. You know, the mentality when Josh Long was here and ingrained in all of us was work hard and bust your butt. And, that's exactly what he's doing. Uh, he's a good athlete, and I can see him playing pretty soon. Um, just he has to keep working. He's a very competitive guy. Okay, Darian, we're going to go over here on our right-hand side. Hey, Darian, Adam with Kentucky Sports Radio. You were graded out as one of the better run-blocking players last year. Obviously, y'all were heavy inside zone team. You're going to a more wide zone approach with Liam Cohen. Do you feel like uh, you're, you're going to be able to keep up that efficiency from a blocking standpoint? Um, and also, um, I think you're moving to left tackle. How, are you, how excited are you to show off some of your pass protection skills to help improve your NFL draft stock? Uh, switching to outside, doing a little more outside zone, I feel like it's going to help me a lot, not just you know running down people's face. Uh, I think it's going to help me improve uh, in terms of getting ready for NFL type stuff, but I also feel like I'm going to do better grading wise. Um, I feel like it's just going to show my athletic ability and I feel like I'm just going to keep improving from there. Okay, we're going to go here on our left-hand side along the aisle. Josh Kendall with The Athletic. Darian, I know that uh, the college football playoff expansion is a little in the future for, for your purposes, but as a player, do you think that's something that should have come earlier? Do you have any concerns about in the future on player safety in terms of playing too many games? Uh, you know, I can't, we can't really say too much. I mean, NFL plays 16 games, so I – Get ready for it now or, you know, get ready for it later, either way. Other questions, uh, raise your hand. We've got one down here in front left. Bob? Okay, great. Hey, I, I was just wondering what, what your take is on the new offensive coordinator and just how you think the offense might be, you know, expanded in the passing game to get, get more balance. You know, Mark talked about that. Hmm. Well, you know, the new office coordinator, um, great guy, great energy. You know, he's been doing it in the NFL, so I feel like we just have to trust in him and uh, continue working. Um, one of the biggest things, though, he wants is just pinpoint accuracy with everything we're doing. Everything has a purpose and a reason, and it sets up a lot of stuff for a lot of the game. So um, I feel like we, we just got to keep sticking to it, keep working, and, you know, master this new offense that we're getting. Okay, we'll stay right down here front and left. And Tom? Yeah, hey, uh, Tom Murphy, Arkansas Democrat Gazette. What did you see from Joey Gatewood in the spring? And just kind of projecting forward, what, what are his strengths? What do you expect out of him? Uh, what I've seen from Joey, he's a huge competitor. Uh, he, loves, he loves the battle. He loves to you know, go out there and work hard and show what he's got every day. Um, me personally, I, I, love, I love his arm. He has a great arm, and he, he knows when to tuck it and run. Okay, we'll go back over here on the middle section along the right aisle. Conor O'Gara, Saturday Down South. How would you describe Wandale for those who haven't had a chance to really see him play yet in the SEC? Uh, just watching him in spring, I mean, he's an explosive player. Uh, great athlete, explosive ability. As long as he gets the ball in his hands, he can make something happen. Okay, we'll go right down in front of us, about four rows back. Darren, Theo DeRose at Commercial Dispatch in Columbus. Uh, I know you were in Ohio for high school, but Growing up in Knoxville, did you know uh, linebacker Deshaun Page now at Mississippi State? And if not, what's it like playing against guys from Knoxville, especially in the SEC? I mean, coming from you know certain areas and then seeing those guys be successful and then playing them at the college level, I feel like it's just a good success story, and uh, you know shows that you know you can really make it out of anything and do anything with your life. Um, so I feel like it's a great opportunity to, you know, play those guys, and I'm, I'm happy for them when they're at the next level. Okay, we're going to stay in the center section about three-quarters of the way back. Hey, Trey Scott with 24-7 Sports. You guys just added Dari Rosenthal from LSU uh, the other week. What's, what's it like in the room when you add a, a player who's going to come in and compete? 
and does it help the vibe and have you gotten to know him yet? Uh, me personally, I haven't got to know him too well. Um, you know, he's so new, but it just takes time to really adjust. But I feel like it's a good thing. I mean, if everybody's planning to go to the NFL, that's why they come to college, besides getting the degree, um, you know, you're going to have you're going to have somebody come for your spot every year. So I feel like you got to get used to it now or later. Um, but at the end of the day, it's good competition. He's a teammate. It's, you know, it's healthy competition. Darren, as we wait for other questions, Coach mentioned you had a choice to make. Uh, you could have gone on to the NFL. What were some of the factors that made in your decision to come back uh, for your senior year? Uh, some of the decisions, uh, you know, seeing the team that we had, I knew that we could have an amazing year. Um, for more personal reasons, I knew that if I got, uh, you know, a lot of reps at left tackle, I know that would help me with the NFL draft and NFL prospects and showing that I'm not just – a right side player. I could play any position on the line. All right, we'll go back down here to the right front row. Curtis Birch, UK Sports Network. Darian, can you just discuss your relationship with your mother and how much she's meant to you to get to this point in your career? Oh, man. I don't think I have enough time to really talk. You know, this is, I can take all day talking about why uh, I love her so deeply and why she's gotten me to this point in my life. Um, she, she's been there through with me through thick and thin, honestly. Um, you know, me being with her when she, stuff was just tough and we didn't know how we were going to make it to the next day. But, you know, just now, you know, looking back and seeing um, all the stuff we've been through, just it, the words can't describe how much uh, she means to me and what she has done for me in my life. And I love her dearly and love her so much that I, don't, I mean, I know about y'all's mama, but I know y'all love y'all mama, but I don't know. I think I might love mine more than y'all, so that's all I got to say. 